Once upon a moonlit night in the quiet town of Ravenshade, nestled deep within the misty mountains, there stood a grand, centuries-old hotel known as the Ravenswood Inn. While the inn was famed for its opulent charm and impeccable service, Room 111 harbored a dark secret. The story of Room 111 had been whispered among the locals for generations. It was said that a tragic love affair had unfolded within those four walls long ago. A beautiful young woman named Eliza had checked into the room, waiting for her lover who had promised to return from a treacherous sea voyage. Days turned into weeks, and her hope faded with each passing hour. One fateful stormy night, as rain pounded against the window panes and thunder shook the foundations of the inn, Eliza received a letter bearing dreadful news. Her beloved had been lost at sea, and her heart shattered into a million pieces. Consumed by grief, she took her own life within the very room she had been waiting in for so long. Since that tragic night, guests who stayed in room 111 reported strange occurrences. Whispers of heartbroken sobs echoed through the room, even when it was empty. Guests claimed to have seen the ghostly figure of Eliza, dressed in a white gown, standing at the foot of the bed, her eyes filled with sorrow. One chilly autumn evening, a paranormal investigator named Samuel decided to spend a night in room 111 to unravel the mystery. Armed with cameras and recording equipment, he settled into the room. As the clock struck midnight, the temperature dropped, and Samuel heard the faintest of whispers. Eliza's voice, soft and melancholic, filled the room, telling her tragic tale. Samuel listened intently, capturing every word on his recording devices. Eliza's spirit seemed to long for closure, her love story forever suspended in time. Samuel shared the story with the world, hoping it would reach her lost lover wherever he may be. Years later, a worn and tattered letter arrived at the Ravenswood Inn. It bore the same handwriting as Eliza's last letter, but it was dated many decades later. It told of a miraculous tale of survival at sea and an undying love that had endured through time. Eliza's lover had returned, seeking her presence, and had finally found the closure he needed. Years later, a worn and tattered letter arrived at the Ravenswood Inn. It bore the same handwriting as Eliza's last letter, but it was dated many decades later. It told of a miraculous tale of survival at sea and an undying love that had endured through time. Eliza's lover had returned, seeking her presence, and had finally found the closure he needed. The inn's staff framed the letter and hung it in room 111, and from that day forward, the whispers and apparitions ceased. It seemed that the love that once haunted the room had found its peace, leaving behind a story of love, loss, and reunion that would be told for generations to come. 